Hello everyone, this is CJ, and this is a n new game, I guess. It's a remake. It was just released, I think, a few days ago. Uh, my friend bought it for me. Um, thank you. I know you're going to watch this, so thank you here. I'm not really sure what to call you. Uh, Lightning Fire? <laughs> um, yeah, so this is... The Stanley Parable. Look, there's 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 my mouse on the little screen right there, and on the little screen on that little screen. <laughs> okay, let's play. Alright, so basically, this is a game that has a lot of endings. The end is never the end. The is never is never at the end. The end is loading. Oh yeah, I watched some videos about this. Um, I'll tr uh, I'll, I'll just go for it. Um, there, I checked some of the achievements, I didn't look through them really, some of them are pretty funny. I got an achievement for going into options, and clicking extra, and turning on achievements. Yeah, it, the, the icon was a picture This is of, the story uh, of a man named Stanley. I'll, I'll tell you later. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul ripping, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, no, no one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. No Never saying in hi? All his years Are at the you company kidding me? Had this, happened. this complete isolation. Little... Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out and of his And started office. going crazy. Um... I'm gonna go out. I right, so, um... This game, I'm not sure if all of you have... Or all of his co-workers were gone. What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, this game was a original. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. This game was originally a mod for Half-Life 2. Yeah. Um. Uh. And it was they. That was a few years ago, they remade it into an HD version that's its own game. And that's what this is. And I know this does something. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? Yes. No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly but, but five clicks. Come on. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. Hmm. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true me? effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do it. Yes, almost <sighs> certainly 50 clicks. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It, it has did to be mean a something. true reward for valiant effort. I want valiant to see some effort. hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. 
Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? 417. That's right here. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 37. 37. It's over here. 37. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. Okay. Oops. I didn't think that would do anything. Now, back to door number 437. Really? I was just there. Oh, I can crouch. Over here. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine? This thing? Yeah, there's a copy machine. Alright, back to room 417. I'm really me? feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. No, we're going in circles. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. Um. Yes, this is great. You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. Wait, what's this? I thought I saw something. Okay. We've almost got it! Now He's the excited. copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> Fine! Why are you so excited? Finish it off, Stanley! Five clicks on door 430! I'm gonna wait it out. Okay. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. It is. Really, now? What were you thinking? I was thinking that this is a simple game. I get an achievement for turning on achievements. Be my Valentine. Okay. Let's go. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <sighs> I'm not sure if I really want to. Right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, I don't and Stanley care. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, totally. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking. 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 Give me some coffee. Coffee nut. Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. His obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Yeah, probably. I wouldn't doubt it. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Nah. 